Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. This video, I'll be making 2S1P battery pack. Let's scratch today's topic. Before I get to building this battery pack, I just want to say that I am starting a side business of making batteries pack for you guys or people that need battery pack and don't want to build one themselves or don't have all the supplies to do it. I will leave my store link in the description down below so you can go and get yourself some high quality, well built lithium ion batteries. So I'll be using this battery for today's build which is the 18650 Panasonic battery. Let's get to building today's battery pack. Okay before we continue on to this build I'm going to be checking the battery here just to make sure that they have a good working voltage. Checking this one first. This one is 3.52. This one is also 3.52. So that's a good sign because both of them are at a similar voltage you can combine them in series without any problem first i will use this which i 3d printed so that these two batteries are going to be aligned perfectly like this also i will be using this bms with this build for protection discharge and charging so this board supports a 2s battery and it can support up to 20a these two are 10a so technically you can make this a 2s2p battery and this bms will still support this put some captain tape onto the battery pack first i'll be using some nickel strip to connect them together in series there we go connect it together now i can remove this now because they're not going to separate now i'm going to be soldering the BMS a little bit putting some solder sort of right here for all the connections so that I can connect it easier there we go we are done with the motherboard now I can put some double-sided tape onto the back of the BMS tape it right onto the battery itself there we go so at this point I can connect this to this this to this and the bottom part to this 4.2 volt right here there's two ways i can do this i can put a wire here connect it to here or i can just use a nickel strip and solder it up here and then solder directly to the motherboard and that's what i'm gonna do i feel like doing this is easier it's more efficient and it saves a little bit of space and now that we got all these cut to the correct length i'll be connecting to the battery There we go. We're now done with all the connections and just need to solder these down and connect the positive and negative. For this battery pack specifically, I'm going to be using this type of connector. This type of connector is a JST SM connector. So if you're on the website and you need a different connector, I also have this XT60 connector and I have the smaller version of this, the XT30 connectors too. So if you want any different types of connector, you can pick. And one last connector that I have is these are called T connectors. So there is four different types of connectors that, that I provide for you to choose from. Now I'm going to be putting soldering onto these nickel strips and solder them down. There we go, we got all of them down. And at this point, we can go ahead and check all of them, see if they are connected properly. So this top left is 0 volt, 4.2, 8.4 volt. Let's check 3.5 and 7.04. So that is correct. And now I can check the positive and negative of this thing. And 7.04. Everything is connected perfectly. And now it's on to the final step. I can go ahead and connect this to the BMS board and we are basically finished. So this connector is a three pin connector. The red is positive, ground neutral, and this one is negative. The white is negative instead of black, but it's totally fine. So let's go ahead and connect this to the BMS. You always need modifications. The red wire is a little bit too long so I'm going to have to cut the red wires a little bit. Same goes for the green. Okay, there we go. The wire is now connected. And at this point, we are basically finished. But I'm going to do some cleanup. Make sure that all the wires will never touch each other. 
and we'll do one more final testing to see if we wire everything correctly and see if this is working. So if I touch this from red to white, the voltage should go up. So the first one should be 3.5 and then the next one should be 7.02 or 04. There we go, 3.52. And now if I touch the white and the red, 7.04 voltage. So everything is wired correctly. Now that everything has been nicely wrapped, the final step for me is to use PVC heat shrink to wrap everything and make this look professional. Now that I got these two, it's time to put the battery inside and heat shrink. Next is to put the heat shrink this way to cover the top and bottom. And we now have a finished battery pack and it looks amazing. Look at this. Also made a label for it, Scratch 3D battery. Lion or lithium ion 18650 3500 mAh 7.4 volt 2.9C and 10 A and right there and battery finish and this wire is about 100 millimeters if you count the tip here it's about 115 millimeters long so you'll get a 100 millimeter wire range like this so I have finished building this battery pack this 2S battery pack and there is no sharp edge anywhere it's a very compact battery has a BMS in it so that you can charge and discharge safely it won't go under the minimum voltage of these two batteries and it will not overcharge protecting the battery and it will last a very long time so what makes this different from like other batteries out there well for one the milliamp hour is a lot higher the most traditional batteries out there i've been trying to get some batteries myself you know and all that i can find is 1200 1500 and some maybe 2000 milliamp hours and when i put those batteries to use it does not last that long and you gotta buy three four of those packs just to you know satisfy yourself if you're playing like an rc car or something like that but this one is 3500 milliamp hour with 10 amp output all the money that i get from these batteries will be put back into all my videos and make it even more batteries options you can choose from 4s battery pack like this and get these connectors or you can pick from a 2s battery and using the t connector and get these connectors or if you want like a custom battery pad which i will do later in the future if you still have any questions left leave a comment down below leave a like on this video if you enjoy subscribe to the channel and as always keep on 3d printing